Hello, a new day, a new project, and let's have some fun. Well, in between my stuffs, I found these old hard drives. They are like uh, 80 giga or something. Anyway, they are very old. It's the, the big form, the big factory form. So what I want to do is just simply dismantle them. So uh, let me find the right uh, tools. This is a Torx screw. So we need a Torx like, uh, like this. This is T9. And uh, let's have a look inside. And uh, the purpose of this finally is to, <laughs> you'll be laughing about, to recover the magnets. You know, the magnets here are very, very strong and they can be used for all kind of uh, purposes. You know, I'm using this to have the doors in place, you know, to keep them closed. I have a few magnets like this on my main gate and that's funny because they are so strong they keep the whole gate in place and uh, so many others. And even to have papers on my uh, billboard. You know, my billboard is metallic and uh, with the magnets I can have my uh, schematics or anything I like, you know, tied on the billboard. I can't use this anymore, you know. They've been in use for so, so many years. So I think it's time to retire. Uh, maybe we got another one here. It's looking like, no, somewhere in the middle. No, I think it's here. They've been really good drives for that age. I don't know, maybe are like, anyway, more than 10 years old. Okay, we got another one here. I think it's 2010 or something. And there we go. My God, this is a really clever technology. And by the way, I think uh, we can use the motor for having a kind of pinning, uh, making the things sharp. But for now, I will disassemble this, disassemble here. These are the heads. I think it's something wrong with this drive because the heads should be in the pose position here somewhere. Maybe, I'm not sure. But anyway, can we take this out? No, not yet. Very nice technology. My God, I can't believe it. Today with this SSD, you know, the memories and all the NVMe and all the other stuff, you know, the things that are getting so compact and easy and so on. But look here, this is a marvelous piece of technology. It's amazing, beautiful. With all these health sensors and, you know, positioning. And uh, it's not only getting to the tracks, but the heads also have a kind of uh, their own positioning uh, system or fine positioning of, with a kind of uh, piezo element placing the heads in a very, very, very... Let me see if I can have this out. No way. Okay. What I'm missing here? But this should go out already. Of course. It does the magnets keeping things in place. And here we are. This is a really, really great magnet. Let me see, take it out, no chance. My goodness, you know, it's really, really strong. And here are the heads. Well, I'm sorry. Like I said, these heads are not only going this way, finding the right sector, but also here, it's a very thin, positioning system. Now I can see it on this one. No, this is a very simple head. But some of them, they have, um, so it's, uh, you see, another kind of positioning and the, the head are moving left to right in a very thin way, you know, like just a few millions of a grade, if I can call that. Very nice technology. Well, but like uh, any other things in this world, the progress of technology is going up and up. And so these are so obsolete. But you can still use them, you know, for uh, having a data or having, you know, having documents, photos for many, many years from now on. But the point is that they need to be 
keep it in a good environment. No magnetic fields around and stuff like this. Okay, come on up. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Look. <laughs> Two centimeters away or something anyway. Oh, man, this is really strong. Okay, so we got the magnets. Now I should have the motor out. With a little patience, you can have a sharpening tool. You just put a little bit of uh, sandpaper, double taped, and spin the motor. It's running with five volts, five at least 500, 5, 500 RPM, and that makes a really, really nice sharpening tool. There we go. You can imagine the the finesse, you know, the way these things are done. And this is a magnetic disc really magnetic now it's absolutely erased the motor is still okay here what we can use from this we have a couple of circuits we have a couple of diodes capacitors mosfet i suppose okay let me have the board out and i'll keep it for spare because you never know it can be used for for uh, recovering data from a similar disk but i doubt that i ever gonna need this one more okay well i'll keep this for spare parts this is a really nice connector mm -hmm. maybe it's useful mm -hmm. yeah i don't think so okay so these are the motor contacts here how can I get it south? No, it's tied to the to the case. Okay, but that's okay for now. Are these screws magnetic? No, they are not. Interesting. Let's put them in here and I'll deal with them later. Let me have the other guy. Feels like a thinner one. 7200 RPM. So oh my that was a really piece. I can't see. Is there any way to find when they've been produced? Made in China. Ah, anyway, they are very old. Really old. So, same story. Oh, this is a Seagate Barracuda. The other one was... Oh, Seagate. Same Barracuda. I think they are the same. But this is thinner anyway. Another form. Another factory form. And I'm pretty sure it's a single disc too. Yeah. Another one. No. Okay, the seal. So if you want to have a sharpener, I think... Oh, both of them are 7200 RPM. They've been pretty fast for those times, of course. And up we go. Mm -hmm. But this is really interesting. This, I think this is the position. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, the mechanism here is thinner. I can see that. Look at those parts and look at this one. It's a huge difference. So probably the technology went up in the mid time. Only one screw here. Ah, yes, only one. And no magnet. Huh. We, I think we have only one magnet, the one down there. So if you have a screw like this, with a wider gap and you don't have the right screwdriver just use it on the horizontal way and there we go that's a little trick yeah that's the same kind of uh, head i don't think it have a or maybe here it's that little piezo element i told you for having the scene uh, alignment you know adjusting the position on the tracks and this one unfortunately have only one piece of magnet huh. and not only that look here we have only three screws the other one had like six what yeah six so it's a very clear advanced design well 
I got what I need. It's exactly what I was looking for. And uh, these are from, from a small hard drive, from laptop hard drive. And look at this guy, how big is it? I can tell you that you can't, you can't take them apart. They are so strong. It's neodymium magnets. I'm gonna find a really nice use for this guy. Okay, that's it for today. I don't know if it was fun for you, but for me it was. You know, I like dismantle things. I like <laughs> destroying things. And uh, hopefully, if you are curious to see what's inside a hard drive, that uh, this fixed your curiosity, by the way. Let me have the main board out. Well, some of them are really strange metric. I don't believe that it can be used in, uh, in some other project for some other projects. But anyway, I'll keep all the parts. You never know when you need them. The electronics are okay. And, uh, and I think that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and please comment. And if you have any ideas, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask. And you see the main goal here is to have fun. Don't forget that. Bye-bye.